New details now in the death of a 17 year old Alberta high school student. Preliminary autopsy reports from this morning show drowning as the likely cause of death. Avery Pickle last seen at a house party on Palmetto Creek Thursday afternoon. Investigators say about 20 possibly more people were there. Some of the teenagers at the party were jumping off a boat into the water that was only four to five feet deep. After a while, investigators say people noticed they hadn't seen Pickle and that's when they started started to look for him. It wasn't until the next morning that his body was recovered from the shallow waters. Since then, investigators say there's been a lot of speculation about what happened. We'll continue and do a good thorough investigation, but, but as far as addressing all the social media rumors, you, you can never do that. I mean, you'll never, every time you resolve one, there'll just be a new one that pops up. So I, I would all, all I ask is that, let that information come from you guys, let it come from us, and, and we'll keep you updated on the investigation. Baldwin County deputies don't suspect foul play. They say Pickles' keys, wallet, and phone were all inside his truck. Final autopsy results are expected soon. Meanwhile, it was supposed to be the best summer of his life, the summer before his senior year. Tonight, we're hearing from one of Avery's best friends on and off the football field. The tragic loss of 17 year old Avery Pickle has hit the Alberta community hard. You're looking at a picture of the so called trio. Trey Ridenauer recalls they all became fast friends and eventually family. One day at football practice, we were like, yo, Avery, you want to you wanna go eat after this? And he was like, yeah, of course. And so then ever since then, it was just, it was us three. I don't know. We just became best friends so quick. It was, it was kind of, it was kind of weird. Because yeah. he was super smart, and neither of us were really that smart. We were really more like brothers than anything. We weren't like best friends. Those who knew him best called him Pickle. He didn't dislike Avery, but it was kind of like, you know, he was like, I, you know, I'm Pickle. A couple of the girls called him Avery, but all of us, it was, it was Pickle. From football to wrestling, Avery was competitive. Racing, like seeing who was faster, because we always, it was always... His 40 time was 0.01 seconds faster than mine, so every time we hung out, he was like, dude, I'm faster than you, don't even talk to me, like, yada, yada. Trey, along with Avery, was among a big group of friends celebrating on the 4th, when at some point, Avery went missing. Even as search efforts eventually got underway, they remained hopeful Avery would turn up okay. We were there when they found him and everything, and it was, it was definitely hard. I was in shock because, you know, I really thought he just... You know, he went to somebody's house and then, or just like, when they called me and said they couldn't find him, I was like, well, Avery was the best at Irish goodbyes. He would just leave and you call me, you'd be like, oh, I've been at the house for like 30 minutes, dude. You know, I'm just, mm -hmm. I just didn't feel like being there no more. Yeah. Um, so I really thought he was just going to show up. In the days that have followed, Avery's close-knit group of friends have showed up, leaning on his family during this difficult time. A GoFundMe has been started in his name to help the family with funeral expenses. An overwhelming response in the last two days, raising more than $8,000. Meanwhile, they're sharing pickle stories about the young man who always had a bright smile and positive outlook. Definitely, definitely how happy he was. How just no matter who who was sad, who was whatever, Pickle would say something, do something funny, just just to make any of us happy. He wanted all of us to be just the happiest people on earth. And just, you know, how, how much he was always there for me. And one of the first people there was always Avery, always Pickle. And we'll post the GoFundMe link inside this story at fox10tv.com. Whatever funds are not used, we're told they'll be donated to Alberta High School in Avery's name.